Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Isaac. You may be wondering what the hell's going on here, but this is Boss Rush. We are going to be playing as Boss Rush. This is every single boss related item that I could find. Um, well, at least single items. There's a few for certain ones like Bumbino, for example, you could have Bum Friend as well. Little Steven, you could have Steven and Little Steven sort of thing. So there's a few of them where there's only one item where there could be multiple, but I thought one of each for all the ones I could. I'm sure sure that I've missed a few and I'm sure there's a few modded ones I've missed as well but this is every single one that I could find or think of to become boss rush now obviously to start to make this a little more fair we'll be going with the blindfold and this will be a no item room run as well we'll be using these fellas and these fellas alone so first of all we've got ultra greed with greed's butt we've got delirium with little delirium we've got gideon with gideon's gaze we got the horn with little horn we have chad with little chad we have uh, pl l um, Baby Plum with uh, Plushy Plum. We have Steven with Little Steven. Gerdy with Little Gerdy. Um, we have, what's this guy's name again? Um, I forget the dude's name. Wormwood with Driftwood here. We have the Heretic with Little Heretic. We have Siren with the Siren's Call. Hush with Hushy. Um, we also apparently got Baby Pluto out of that as well from picking it up. Kind of nice. Um, we got ourselves Hushy here. Uh, we got, uh, which is obviously Hush. Plastic Bag, which is Costumia. Um, we've got Little Chubby for Chub. We've got Monstrous Tooth, which is the reworked Monstrous Tooth, by the way. This this is a Monstrous Tooth that falls and shoots enemies for Monstro as our active item. We've got Bumbo for Bumbino. We've got Tiny Horn for Little Horn. We have Willow for Willow or whatever the boss's name is. What the hell's that boss's name? You know the one I mean. Uh, we've got Little Hornfell for Hornfell, and we've got Little Loki for Loki. So we have quite a lot of friends. We have quite a lot of friends, but yeah, um, this is going to be a run where we don't get to shoot and we don't get item rooms, so it's all about our little friends here. But I think we should be able to do a pretty good job with them, and uh, one of the interesting things, one of the items we have, Siren's Call, is a pretty interesting one for us because Siren's Call means that when we get hit, we gain a familiar for the room, which means that on tough rooms, we can actually build up a decent amount of familiars to work with here. Now, I will allow myself to buy certain things from the shop, mainly BFF. If I see BFF, I am taking it. Um, but uh, and, and, and health items as well. If it's something that's going to heal me, I'll allow myself to take it. But everything else, I'm not going to take. But you can see that one of the interesting things about this run is there isn't a single item in this entire roster of items that doesn't work without firing, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to take it. Every single item here works while firing. Even the Colostomia one, that's where we're seeing these little poop slicks and the uh, butt bombs on occasion. We can see here, Monstro is going to jump down. And now, instead of just jumping down, he'll also shoot a shot as well. So he's going to be really good for helping us beat bosses, which is really nice. And that item there is getting left exactly where it is. And we'll jump on down. I know that this isn't really a challenge of any kind. It's definitely going to be fairly easy. But it will get harder later on, because if we don't get BFF, the damage on these guys isn't going to get any better. I don't really know where hot bombs came from then. One of you just gave me hot bombs, and I'm not sure which one of you it was. Thank you, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's going to get a little harder later on, but it's never going to get really difficult. Um, I, I just thought this would be fun. I was looking through items to sort of showcase, and I came across, I think it was um, the little heretic, and I was like, do you know what? I wonder if anyone's ever done a run where they just become boss rush. Also, of course... On a run such as this, we get a random room spawn. Goddamn Toxic Shock. That's an amazing item to just get randomly. That's that's an absolutely insane item to just see. But yeah, we, we are somewhat reliant on our the AI of our little fellas here. And as for the question of the day today, just w which one of these is your favourite visually? Which which familiar in Isaac is your favourite visually? Not, not based on... I'm pretty sure I've asked... Favorite based on their functionality, but visually, which one's your favorite? I think that's a more interesting question potentially. Look at that, Monstro's doing some shooting. I really, really, really love the rework to uh, Monstro's tooth. Like before, he was just kind of met, and you basically would always get rid of him if you found something. Uh, like I say something, you found anything better because everything is better. Uh, but now that he actually jumps down and does a, a barrage of shots that do a pretty good amount of damage, he's pretty darn useful, I think. Pretty damn useful. He's a really, really good boss. I mean, that's half his health already. And that time he didn't want to fire. Okay, that was, uh, that was a little strange. I was just complimenting you on that ability. And this time 
he was like, no, no, no. <laughs> what a wild ride this is going to be, though. But yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to see how powerful a run would be. Hey, we've got a planetarium that we can't use. We also got another item. What is it that's giving us item? I honestly, of all the of all the different dudes that I have, I think, I think it's Little Hornfell. If I was to go through my items and take a look, rewards you for bombing tinted rocks gives a bomb related item if the last floor was clear without taking damage. That's what it is. It is indeed Little Hornfell, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, we cannot take. I will take a quick little peek and see what planetarium item we got, just in case it's anything crazy. It's Palace. We won't be taking that, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, the, 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 like I said, there's surely a few that I've missed in here somewhere, but this is all the ones I could think of. I went through all of my different mods and uh, through their files to check for boss ones. There was a few that were, like, closely related, but not an exact, like, copy of a boss. And then obviously there were similar vanilla items that were kind of close, but not quite there as well. Um, but I just thought, why not keep it as it is? And uh, at the minute, we've got kind of Baby Pluto as a little bonus there's a little bonus fella here. He's just kind of chilling. Um, he just joined along for the ride because of, um, what's it called? Hey, Bumbo just upgraded, apparently. Um, he just kind of joined and upgraded because of uh, Siren's Call. But yeah, Siren's Call, like I said, is an item that, that could help us a lot. Um, because later on, if we get hit a lot in rooms, it'll mean we get a bunch of extra familiars. And considering we can't fire, familiars are the best way for us to deal damage right now. As is apparent by what you're seeing on screen. <laughs> And we got Greed's butt here that isn't charged at the minute, which is going to prevent us from taking too much damage whenever we pick up money. But I do want to be trying to give a good amount of my money to my uh, my old friend here. Good amount of money to Bumbino, because he is he is hungry for it. We know this to be true. Lovely. We also got this haunted chest here. Beautiful stuff. Right, don't just do the jump this time, do the shooting. Dude, what's he- why is he not shooting? He's broken. He's meant to shoot. There you go. We're killing bosses reasonably easily here. We actually managed to get perfection, which is kind of wild. I'll also quickly check it in here just to see what we get. I'm just basically just seeing what I miss out on. I just want to see if I get like a sacred heart or something crazy that I miss out on. Just to rub it in my own face, so to say. But obviously one of the good things right now about um, how powerful this run is, we are going to be getting through the floors really quickly. And also on top of that, like not having to go to the item rooms or like worry about that sort of stuff is speeding things up drastically as well. We got mini bombs there. It's a very good item. And torn photo there as well. My goodness, there's a lot here. But yeah, there's like a few duplicates like... Little Chub and Big Chub. Like, I didn't want to give myself both, so I decided to give myself the weaker of the two. Um, although, then again, I don't really know which one's weaker between Little Chub and Big Chub, because Big Chub's a lot harder to hit, but definitely does more damage. Little Gerdy's doing a, doing a number as well. I like, I like him bouncing around. Beautiful stuff. And Min Min. Min Min's got, got some really good items going on. I'm just checking out all the things we have available to us as we blast on through. I kind of like the visual of having the Colostomia like plastic bag around our head while also having the blindfold on. It looks kind of cool. We've also got um, consistent healing coming from a uh, good old little chub on occasion. It's always nice to see him uh, paying out with some red hearts here and there. Not that we need them right now. Do you know, I, I really had the feeling this was going to be the right way up here. And I was like, nah. Nah, I've already committed to one direction. Let's not turn around. And of course I was right. And, again, another beautiful addition here. Gideon's Gaze destroying any and all grimaces. Um, oh my god, that was so bad. That was a terrible, terrible way to lose our perfection there. Um, removing any and all grimaces and having a chance when removing them to give us a black heart. Very, very nice to have. We do have a few like items like that that are like passive additions. Driftwood is a familiar but also kind of a passive uh, Gideon's Gaze, uh, Hornfell's giving us some passive abilities as well, um, Colostomia Bag. we got some passives in there, there you go, we got Farting Baby there for getting hit. Drop that down. Ah, uh, Monstro, you really went for the worst option, and of course now you fire. When it's not that important, you fire now. Cool. Or check out the shop for BFF at this point. 
Badly no BFF there. You get extra rewards for destroying Sintadrox here, apparently. Yeah, there you go. Look, you give us some pennies. Oh, you fed my friend. How kind are you? How kind are you? In fact, let's feed him a little more, shall we? Wow. That was quick. I didn't even know you could get that item from uh, dona uh, blood donation machines. That's a very insanely strong item to get from a blood donation machine. That must be like, have a low uh, chance of spawning or something. Hey, Bumbo's upgraded again, and these get destroyed. Only thing about that is it can mess up some rooms. There's some rooms that rely on the grimaces and don't account for the fact that they might disappear. Oh, look, it's Gertie v. Gertie. Let's go. The Gertie v. Gertie battle. Who will win? Some extra damage, and we miss out on Angelic Prism. I should... I really should have destroyed those golden poops and given, given Bumbo a feeding, because we could have got him to max rank there pretty easily. That was definitely my bad. Lots of grimaces here to uh, get black hearts from and such. Also, the the Colostomia bag giving us um, that chance to drop butt bombs is doing, doing some good AoE damage to the room. I like it. Bumbo, do you see this coin? Can you get this coin? That you can, big boy. That you can. We need you on it, lad. We need you on it. Ah, uh -huh. oh, I took that coin from you, didn't I? Look at him shooting. He's doing he's doing his little best. He's living his best life. No extra keys here. Pennies here for you, even. Another shop to check out. Lovely. Sadly, nothing there for us. You watch us accidentally come across a random boss item that I forgot about. I'm trying to think which ones I've forgotten about. There's got to be a few. It is also funny to see how many boss-related items are specifically familiars. There are so many boss-related familiars. Like, the vast majority is why this run even works with a blindfold. Like, if I'm starting with this many items, I want to be blindfolded and not be able to pick up items because this run would be... It's already quite easy. It would be insanely easy if I could just pick up items and shoot still. I wanted to add just that extra wee bit of challenge into a run that starts with about 20 items. I feel like that's only fair. Yeah. Of course, we do have a few fellas here that are super useless. Of course... I'm looking at you, Hushy. It's the Blurt. Blurt v. Monstro. How come we're... It seems to be specifically when I use it on a boss, it just doesn't do the shot, which is weird. Little Heretic's doing a good job with that little laser attachment he's got on the enemy there. And there you go. Is there a Blur item? I feel like there's a Blur item. Maybe there isn't. of jamming. Oh, we've got another item there. Is that an active that time, though? No, it wasn't. It was dead bombs. Honestly, Little Hornfill could be a fun, um, a fun familiar to do a run based around, to be honest. Getting all these extra bomb upgrades, like, do a, do a little, um, Little Hornfell run where we also have, um, like, Dr. Fetus or something. And just try and get as many items as we can out of it. I think that could be kind of fun. Thank you for opening up nothing for me. Again, I'll check in here, see if there's anything crazy. Hey, there is this. Go, Bumbo. Eat to your heart's content. You ate, but it was not enough. How about here? How about you eat these two? You've got to be close. Unless he is max rank and I'm just... The re-sprite's throwing me off, but I don't think he is. Ow. Petrified poop. Honestly, why not right now? Bumbo. Come get. There we go. He is max rank now. Okay. I didn't think he was. But he is now. And, and he can throw bombs out now as well, which is... Very scary. <laughs> you can do some gnarly stuff with those bombs. Go, Gertie. Go. 
Look at Min Min go as well. I love the fact that Min Min like specifically targets an enemy. I love as well that Gideon's gears works in the modded grimaces, even the ones that aren't like the, like that guy that, that moves. I don't know if it works on Sternies though, the the Stern fatties. I can't remember. But I am I'm almost at the end of my recorder palooza for Isaac and Nuclear Throne and any other game I'm uploading at the moment because I've been backlogging. I, I backlogged while I went on holiday, but I'm backlogging again because I've got a week off work coming up to play Call of Duty. Yes, I'm a nerd, but um, I wanted to have all my recordings squared off. Not just because I didn't want to interrupt my, my time off with recording videos, but also I just didn't want to have to worry about it. I wanted everything just like squared off and done so that you guys always have your content and there's never there's never a chance of me like forgetting or anything like that. Not too bad. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, we got this bloody curse, haven't we? The jamming curse. Not a fun curse to have. I don't know if it can only do it once or not. I hope it can only do it once. Hey, that was kind of nice of you. Broken disc. Oh my god, that's a lot of wisps. That's a lot of range. Ah, oh, come on, Monstro. That was terrible. Bumber is dropping bombs quite crazily. He's doing a lot. It's okay, though. He he means well. He means well. He's actually doing a pretty good job with his bombs. He's hit, hit with two of them so far, which is more than he normally does. He has just hit me, though. To be goddamn expected. Okay. Now, one of the reasons I've been rushing is because we have to, don't we? Boss rush v boss rush. Come on now. The only problem is I'd have to take an item to do it. Um, so... Hmm. Can I do this? If I go give Big Chub... Um, 473... If I spawn this and pick this up, will this count? Yes, it will. Okay. We, we've gained Big Chub from this now. <laughs> There's probably a different item I could give myself, but that's what I went for. Ow. I should hope I don't die here. Oh, I did not know that could spawn a sprinkler. But yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to do this as well is because we're going to be gaining a lot of familiars throughout this. A lot and a lot of familiars. Where's this charmed bomb fly come from? Is that is that little hornfell that's doing that? I'll tell you what, little hornfell's doing a mighty good job. Yeah, so far this is taking a while. This is like the first wave, right? <laughs> We've got the mozzie doing the little suckers. Little mo uh, our monstro boy is, is letting us down. I could have gone with little monstro actually, but monstro's tooth is letting us down at the moment, really. But I gotta hope that I can survive through all of this. Gotta hope. You can see though how we've fallen off a little bit. The damage isn't quite there as much as it was. Bar as well. Hello, hello. Hey, it's the, the, the bombs from, from Bumbo and stuff are going to be so good. To be fair, Bumbo's damage himself, if he can get on top of an enemy, he, we just saw it happen there, is uh, pretty goddamn good. Ow, of course you went for me, you sad sack of shit. Hey, he shot though, he shot. He did a lot of damage actually, wow, he almost killed this guy in one go. Remember, the more da damage we take, the more things we spawn. We spawned two sprinklers so far. That's kind of lucky. And we're conjoined as well. It's actually the, the firing triple shot. I like that spring. Maybe there's just a higher chance on Boshra's of it being a sprinkler. Maybe that's something that was specifically coded. It'd be kind of cool if it was. Because this is, this is like the perfect mode sprinklers to be in effect. We also got a demon baby there by the looks of it as well. Ow. Go find that red heart wherever it was. Got it. 
Zealot Heart here too. Hello. I have your baby. I have your child. This this little bomb fly here has been chilling for so long and done absolutely nothing in its entire lifespan. This guy's this guy's tricky. Get him eventually, but oh nope. That troll bomb was kinda cheeky. Although apparently we healed straight away after it, so and we got um bomb fly as well. Of course, we have to fight Kingpin here, which is an unfortunate tragedy. We got another little Loki in the mix. Little Loki 2 electric boogaloo. Hey, we got a slipped ribbon there as well. There's plenty of things here working for us. We've also got little Delirium becoming a little monster. Little monster is a pretty good familiar, actually. I was only saying that in another episode I did recently. He can, he can walk the walk. He really can. Oh, dude. I know what we forgot. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know what we forgot. Um, remove C473. And give Lil Gish. Little Gish. That's who we forgot. Little Gish. How could I forget Little Gish? Man, this is getting... This is getting laggy. <laughs> We're making it work, but... It's it's chugging along. Hey, where'd my other sprinkler go? How did one manage to disappear? I don't even know how that's possible. Did he get replaced by something else? But yeah, I have to go with a little gish. That's that. That's the, that's. I knew I'd have. Uh, I, I I was like guaranteeing I'd forgotten at least one. I knew. I knew. Mask of Infamy. Mask of Infamy is another one. Right. Um. Give mask. In for me. We'll go with cracked in for me, just so it's not as powerful. Um, one, two, zero, five. Excuse me? Did it work? Yes, there you go. There you go. Can't forget that. This is the boss rush is good here because I'm, I'm I'm picking up on them, dude. There's, I've missed so many. <laughs> um, peep, the peeper. The peeper. It's literally Peep's eye. How could I forget that? I went through the whole list and I forgot so many. This is why doing boss rush is good. We're picking up ones that we missed. Grabbing them as our boss rush reward, essentially. We've got to be nearly done here. We've got to be nearly done. Ah, bugger. Trying to get all the health here. Kind of chilling and letting everything else take care of business. I just want Bumbo to do it all. Bumbo is the, the real G for dealing high damage. He just doesn't like getting involved though. He does not like getting involved. There's a, there's a Bob's brain in there somewhere. That's trying his best. We got a tonsil as well as one of our familiars. That's kind of funny. Oh, Bob's brain you just missed. Pollution is not a boss I want to tango with. Hey, Bob's brain hit him. Hey, Bob's brain hit him again. Well, that went well. Another hit on me there. 
any others that I can think of that I've missed? There's got to be like five or six that I've missed. There's so many boss items. Ow. What a tragic boss that is. Sister Viz. What are you doing, Sister Viz? Hey, you almost got your Bob's brain. How dare you? Right, two more waves, I guess. My god. It's like Death's Touch, you could argue is a death item, but I would say that's a little, I don't know, that's a little less related. It is kind of related, but not quite. I don't know. Doesn't quite hit the mark for me. But yeah, feel free to make a list of all the ones I've missed, because I'm sure there's plenty. Hey, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Grab the health, and then see a thousand familiars all disappear as we leave here. Sad to see you go, my friends. Although it seems that we've kept one of the little Lokis for some reason. That little Loki was... Like, yeah, like... We've... We've kept the wrong little Loki. <laughs> we've got the, um... You can see that it's slightly see-through look. We've, we've kept the wrong little Loki somehow. I don't really know how that's happened. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Do you know how, like, when you see a dog walk away with its owner and then, like, realise a few seconds later that they've walked away with the wrong person? Or, like, a kid will do it. Like, they'll, like, hold their mum's hand or dad's hand and then realise that's not their dad. That's actually happened to me before. When I was at a, a fair, uh, a little kid just, like, came and stood next to me and started holding my hand. And he was holding my hand for, like, ten seconds before he realised that I wasn't his dad. But I, I was only, like, like 17, 18 at the time, so, like, it was a bit odd. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think I was, I, I can't remember, I think I was about 17. I know that I was fairly young, so it's like, I didn't really look like a dad. I don't really look like a dad now, but I especially didn't then. Um, but I was just kind of like, um, okay. <laughs> um, because I thought, like, at first, he, like, when he, when he grabbed my hand, I kind of pulled away, but then I was just like, does this kid need help or something? Is he lost? And then he kind of looked up at me and was like, oh shit. Um, but it's exactly like that, where a, a little, a little, um, Loki's just kind of gone with the wrong parent. <laughs> You're meant to be with the siren, not me. I'm a little worried about our max HP. We do not have a lot of max HP at the moment. I'm definitely a little concerned with that. Ow, especially when we take stupid damage twice. Quickly go back and grab these hearts. Good thing is, as I said, we have a little Chad, which little Chad will help us stay reasonably healthy throughout most of the run. We've just got to not take damage too rapidly, as we just did. That isn't going to bird well for long. It's only a 20-minute episode, so 28-minute episode so far. 29 now. Just kind of crazy, the speed at which we're going for what we're doing. Oh, these all count as grimaces as well. See, that black heart is uh, of high value to us right now. A very, very high value. I'm hoping we just go the right way here, because that would alleviate a lot of pain. But that never happens on the womb, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna expect it. Look at Gary. Oh my god, the speed. Hey, we did go the right way. What boss are we going to get here, then? Mama Gary? There isn't a Mama Gary item, is there? I'm sure there is that I've just forgotten about. Get you are deaded. But yeah, essentially, we gathered Little Gish, Mask of Infamy, and the Peeper's Eye by completing Boss Rush. That's what I'm saying. They, they were our rewards.
Oh, come on, you dick. How, how did that bomb still not hit you? It was like right next to you. You've killed my plum. I will awaken him from his slumber. A card, you say? Honestly, that's a very good card. Hey, we were going the right way. Both validating and kind of annoying that I wasted the card. <laughs> Now this, this is something I want, although I'll be coming back for it. I'll not be taking it straight away. Wait, how come my Bumbo de-leveled? When did that happen? Bumbo? When did that happen, my lad? <laughs> I don't know when or how that happened. My big strong boy. That is actually pretty nice because I think I can use that on this to do some contact damage. Oh, I can actually fire it even with the blindfold, interestingly enough. Helpful. Right, good, good, good. We can go back. Yeah, I can actually use Mum's knife even with the blindfold. That's kind of interesting. So, what other familiars have I managed to accidentally lose in all of this? I think what happened is I must have hit the familiar limit of 64 when I was spawning in a bunch of them somehow. I don't think I hit that limit, but I must have hit the limit and it despawned some familiars. And when it respawned them in the next room, it, um, it, it respawned it at a lower level. I'm going to guess that's what happened. Because Bumbo should not have been de-leveled at any point. Come on, my friend. Be taken care of. Well, we're doing some good work here. Ooh, an email. I'll have to check that after this episode. Is said and done. Yeah, I'm a little worried for these last few floors here, to be honest, especially the um, the boss fight. Honestly, if we can get Bumbo max level, though, it won't be anywhere near as hard. I just use bombs where I can. I don't have a lot of them, but they are helping a lot. Beautiful. Ah, oh, there's another bomb. Grab, grab, grab. Gideon's gear is still helping out a ton. That champion eye looks really cool, actually. Especially considering the beam is also championed. Key we don't really need. Damn it, we unfortunately did the wrong way here. Get out of here. What do we reckon to the L-shaped room, then? Do you think it's that? Let's give it a go. Oh, unfortunately, you went for the wrong enemy. You picked incorrectly, good sir. Oh, wait, no. Apparently, Monstro still killed that thing. Somehow. Don't ask me how. Lasers coming in. Holy beams of light. Some extra healing. Lovely. Greed's butt's almost filled as well if I can get some more coins, but then again, I would like to give my coins to my friend here. Right, get everything charged up going into this next room. And unleash. Not too bad damage off the bat, but not amazing. Ow. I've been hit. The damage is not great right now either. Samson's chain is here. I think I've definitely lost some familiars in this. This whole shenanigan.
Health has just been not good, really. Bomber, just get in there. Do some bits. Not doing anywhere near enough to help out. Not to sack you off. Drop some bombs or something, my guy. Boom. Oh, that bomb did hardly anything. Wow. I'm yeah, getting somewhat unlucky against this guy right now. There you go. We got him eventually, though. We got him eventually. Nothing boss related there, unfortunately, that I, that I accidentally missed out on. Hierophant's very nice for us here. I was kind of hoping for a wild card, though. Sun card would be better. Sun card would be top tier right about now. On his way through. Oh, God. I always forget these guys fire Herming bombs. Hey, Bumbers max rank. That saves us a bunch. Should make the boss fight quite a bit easier. Dude. Bugger off with your chasey chaseys. <sighs> Unfortunately, we have to actually do this room. This is a boss that I just despise fighting. Ah, oh, Bumba! I knew it was going to happen eventually, but did it have to be right there and then? Hey, Cracked Infamy saved me! Awesome. But I took the cracked version. One moment. Now ready to continue. Do much for us. Oh, come on, game. Stop taking us the wrong way. We ain't got time for this, baby. Two hearts. Thick. Right. Had a feeling that was going to be the wrong way, but sadly, I was correct in that assumption. Hoping I wouldn't have been correct. Dude, come on. You're barely visible. I shouldn't have been hit by you there. Oh, this room is uh, bad news, man. Bad news. Yeah. Dude, I'm stuck in their radius. They just keep getting larger and larger. This room killed me before, actually. Like, this room's bollocks. <laughs> Realistically, they, they should just die as soon as you press all the buttons. Well, that really did a number on me. Oh, the wrong way again. Come on now. Black heart there's rather nice. I need a lot more where that came from the see this one through especially the blue baby fight blue baby fights gonna be rough hopefully little Chad will keep us nice and healthy I don't even know where the things that Gideon gave removed where in this room Is that it? Seems to be it. No? There you go. Wow. We are killing stuff pretty fast when it goes like that. When things go our way, the enemies die fairly quickly, and little Chad is still plugging along. 
Right, unfortunately, not the amount of health I'd like to do this fight with, but it's all we got. It's all we got, baby. We've only got four bombs as well. That's not really that good either. Very much the aim of the game is stay the hell away from this guy. Let our familiars just run amok on him. Do their thing. We're going to need Bumber to do the, a lot of the work here. Don't know why little Chad is following Bumber, though. That's an interesting, uh, interesting little weird thing going on in this run. There's a few familiars that are following him, actually. Weirdly. Hopefully, he does drop some bombs down and, and kills the boss. He's so inconsistent with his bomb dropping that I don't know if we can rely on that as a tactic, really. Hey, there's a bomb there. That was good. You're almost down to your next stage. There you go. The bombs are what seals the deal, baby. The bombs are what seals the deal. Really, teleported away at the perfect time. That was some bad movement by me there, but it kind of worked out. A hey. Extra bombs are doing it, and baby, we managed to no-hit this fight, which I'm very surprised at. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.